Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for this collective haul video slash mini reviews. Um, that's kind of what I'm calling it because collective haul as in I didn't buy all this stuff at once. Um, generally haul videos are where people show, you know, stuff they got on their shopping trip or whatever. And these are things that I've gotten over time. So it's kind of like a lot put to all together just to kind of let you know what I have, what I'm using, um, the things I'm kind of testing out. Ooh, I just put on hand sanitizer and I feel like I'm going to sneeze right now. It's like raspberry. Oh, it's really strong. <laughs> but anyway, I'll get over it. Um, this is just a bunch of different things that I've gotten. It's pretty much all drugs. Yeah, it's all drugstore. Um, just stuff I'm testing out right now, and I'll kind of tell you what I think about it as we go. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm wearing my little flannel shirt today, by the way. This is, I've worn this in past videos because it's kind of like my go-to shirt to put on if I'm a little cold around the house and just want something to put on over the top of whatever I'm wearing. I got this from like the little boys section of Walmart and I think it's just, I just really like the print. It's so cute. I wore it for a segment on the news that we were doing last Halloween and it was like I was a cowboy. I just chose to dress up as a cowboy, so this was like the perfect little flannel shirt for that. But anyway, to the makeup, um, I have several different chunks of things. First was something I got from the Dollar Store not too long ago, Dollar General. As many of you know, they are selling certain e.l.f. products there. And I had gotten the Dramatic Lash Kit, and so the, this is just a dollar and they have the dramatic and the natural that they sell there. This is what the dramatic looks like and you may be wondering, well why do you only have one set there? Well that's because I used this set. I trimmed them up and they're currently like my favorite little um, false lashes to wear kind of on the outside for that added fullness on the outer edge. So basically what I did was, these are pretty long, so I cut it up and I kind of trimmed them so they were sort of tapering out to be a little bit longer. I guess tapering in to be a little shorter towards this part of my eye and a little longer toward the outside, but I really like them. They've been holding up really well. I've cleaned them off every time I've used them and I've used them for probably five times now. Um, I really like the way they look for work. They're just not overdone, but yet they give you that look of more thickness in your lash area. So if you're looking for a little do-it-yourself trick there, totally just clip you know that up with some scissors kind of make each side even obviously and you got a lot of you have a lot to work with because you have a really long strip here so yeah I have this other set then for when these get a little raggedy you know I'll try that out but for only a dollar I mean you can and you get that many uses it's awesome and by the way I did a blog if you go to my blog and you search uh, false eyelashes I did something all about caring for your lashes when you can tell that you've worn them too much and it's time to toss them out that kind of thing get a lot of questions about that and so I covered it in that blog um, another thing I got from the dollar store I wanted to try out one of these cheap like 99 cent I think LA colors lipsticks they say they have vitamin E and aloe vera um, this one I, the shade I have is called Satin, and I swear it smells a lot like my MAC lipstick, and I love the smell of the MAC. Yeah, kind of a cupcake, sort of vanilla, slightly sweet uh, scent, not overboard or anything, not like horribly fruity and stuff, but just kind of a sweet cake sort of scent. So I was really surprised by that because sometimes with really, really cheap products, uh, the thing you have to sacrifice is maybe the scent or something. But this shade is yeah, just kind of a, a middle of the road sort of neutral, a little bit pinky, a little bit light brown. Uh, swatch it on my hand there. Just very, very easy to wear. Has a little bit of a metallic finish. Um, not as creamy maybe or moisturizing feeling as I would like but you know it'll work it's it's pretty good so I was just sort of like delightfully surprised by that uh, purchase there from the dollar store um, then Walgreens I've got a series of things here that I've gotten over time on buy one get one free or buy one get one half off I can't remember what the exact deal was when I purchased these but they're kind of in twos here according to brand so from CoverGirl I tried out their new Lash Blast length so if you've tried Lash Blast and the big orange um, tube, this is the lengthening kind. And you can see what the brush looks like there. It's a little bit longer brush. Um, just the, the little spikes on it are a little bit longer towards this end, and then they, they get a little shorter here. Um, I can't quite decide yet if I like it better than 
uh, regular lash blast or not. It is nicely lengthening, but I just can't decide yet if I think it's it really gives me the look of more lashes necessarily, so that's still definitely under review for me, but you'll probably see it in some tutorials, or maybe you already have. I can't remember if I've used it yet or not. Um, the other thing I got was one of these Wet Slicks Fruit Spritzers lip gloss in Berry Splash pretty shimmery light pink. Hadn't tried any of these yet, and these have been out for a while. But the scent is so good. Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the best smelling lip glosses uh, that I've tried. And it's got just a really nice light pink shimmer. Maybe I'll put it over the top of what I have on. You can see. it's This is over sort of a light nude pink lipstick that I had on. Yeah, I like it. I really like it. It's kind of one of those overlapping shades. It's it's fairly sheer, but it does have that hint of pink. Nice amount of shimmer. I really like that and love that scent. The, sh the flavor is Berry Splash. Really, really like that one. Um, other stuff, I've tried out a couple of the Maybelline Color Sensational lipsticks. Um, a lot of people have been asking, have you tried them yet? Have you tried them? I have tried them, and I really, really like them. Um, the shade of lipstick that I actually had on underneath this gloss, which I, and I featured this lipstick in a tutorial already, is number 15. It's called Born With It, and it's a really pretty light pinky sort of nude. I say light pink slash nude because it's not one of those in-your-face pinks. It's very, very wearable. It's very, um, just kind of works with any makeup look, any outfit. I've gotten a lot of use out of this already. Um, the scent sort of a somewhat strong scent and it's not maybe my favorite scent ever but I really am not super sensitive to it so I don't really see it as a big problem because the lipstick is so creamy it feels moisturizing it's very pigmented you know a swipe of that on your lips and it just just really good quality lipsticks you can see the packaging is sort of this twist up and then the cap comes down over the top and the cap colors are a little bit different depending on what color family you got these from like I have two here I don't know if you can tell but they are a little bit different colored um, so that one was born with it the other one I have is party pink this is more of your fuchsia, kind of uh, brighter pink shade. I really do like this shade as well, but I haven't gotten to wear it as much. It just doesn't necessarily work with as many things like just a neutral light pink does, but it's still really nice. Uh, I once again the texture is great I love the how it's just you know you put it on your lips it feels moisturizing the color is nice and rich really really like those lipsticks and we'll probably look into some other shades of those as well um, other things here from L'Oreal haven't really ever gotten into the L'Oreal eyeshadows the wear infinite eyeshadows um, I think I had like a long time ago once and just wasn't really pleased with the color payoff but decided to kind of go back and try them again uh, the quad I got is in there you go those are that now the colors are showing up a little better and uh, this is very violet so what you get here is they're all sort of matte I guess this shade number three here has a little shimmer they're numbered and then it tells you on the back like how to use the numbering to get I guess a typical eyeshadow look, but you've got sort of a yellowy toned highlight shade, a light lavender, a deeper um, lavender plum, and then a really nice kind of basically black slash deep, deep navy blue. So I really like these colors grouped together. It wasn't necessarily what you would instantly think of. I like to get quads where the grouping of colors seems a little more random. <laughs> Sometimes it's just more fun that way, especially after you've tried a lot of eyeshadows. So. Um, I've used this once. I was really pleased with the way it came off. Um, the colors could have been a little bit more rich or soft or kind of creamy feeling, but I still like the the payoff that I got mainly with uh, the colors here at the bottom. was really pleased with those, so I may do a tutorial or something with that if you guys are interested. I don't know. And then I just went back and got another um, original Voluminous Mascara. This is one of those that I've used on and off, you know, kept repurchasing not necessarily consecutively like right after I run out but I'll keep it in rotation usually in my mascaras that I'm using voluminous just has one of those really traditional uh, kind of thick brush mascaras here I think I did one of those where I just held it right here. <laughs> I've done that before and I'm always called out on it by someone but anyway I've always liked voluminous it's not been maybe you know 
ultra favorite, but it, it's just a good day-to-day -day general mascara to use. Just gives you a thick lash look, so I do like that. Um, oh, next thing I wanted to mention, I got a magazine. <laughs> I thought I'd just put this in my haul video. Um, I hadn't really gotten these before. I've gotten two in, so far in recent weeks, but it's the Sophisticate Hairstyle Guide. Um, I haven't read too many hairstyle magazines other than this one, but these are really good to give you some makeup ideas too. I mean hair is, is great as well but they oftentimes will do these profiles on different stars and they'll ask like what their favorite makeup is or what they use to get their look day to day and like for example here's like Carrie Underwood and you know they may mention what kind of makeup you can use to achieve that look or what her favorites are. Through one of these magazines I found out about the um, NYC super cheap liquid liner that is Megan Fox's one of her favorites apparently. So you can get a really close up look of someone's makeup if you want to do like a celebrity inspired look. So you get a really really nice clear picture of that. But you've also of course got the hair stuff too. Here's like Miley Cyrus and then it has like some of her favorite products that she says she uses. So um, I was just kind of surprised at how much makeup there was involved in these and then to get hairstyle ideas and stuff like that. Um, these are good to get every now and then. Not like you have to get them every time they come out, but it's kind of fun just now and then to see what they've got featured in there. Okay, now is the stuff from Hard Candy that is now being sold at Walmart. Somebody got on my on my Facebook fan page um, and they said, did you know that Hard Candy is being sold at Walmart now? And I'm like thinking, well, I don't know what kind of Walmart you shop at, but I don't think mine has that because Hard Candy has always been, in my mind, sort of a semi-high-end, I mean, uh, makeup brand. Really cute stuff, really cute packaging. And lo and behold, I went to um, visit couple of my sisters, Tyler's my sister's in law, I guess. Um, but and we went to, ended up going to a Walmart and I looked around and I was like, oh my goodness, they really do have it here. So they probably have it at my local one too. I just haven't checked it out yet. So I of course had to get a few things to try. Um, just I, I didn't have a whole lot of time to look so I just got some of the things that appealed to me right at the start. Um, these adorable lipsticks with this little like tail. It's like a little ribbon there and they all have this kind of unique packaging on the outside. This shade that I have here is called Crush and it's got that cute little like four leaf clover horseshoe thing going on and it's just pretty kind of shimmery pinky gold. So that's pretty. I just wanted to get a really wearable shade that I knew I'd get some good out of. Um, so that's really really cute. Also they do not um, test on animals for those who are concerned about that, but just adorable packaging on everything. I got a lip balm, which came in this little box. So it's got this cute little girl on here, and this one's name is Elise, I guess. And this is what the lip balm looks like. It's like this little pear-shaped lip balm. And it's just sort of t a tinted balm. This one's light pink. The color really doesn't come off very much, so I wasn't necessarily wild about that purchase, but the lipstick was really nice, kind of moisturizing, not super long wearing, but the color was fantastic. Um, other thing I got was the shadows here that come in this little sort of book. Oops, what did I just do there? Did I lose? Oh, I think I lost the applicator. Oh well. <laughs> Applicator's down there somewhere, but you open it up and they had, I think they had quads or something, but I got this, just this three set, nice neutral, something, you know, every day. Usually when I don't have a lot of time to look, I'll think, what can I, do I know will probably work for me? So I like this, I really like this taupe shade right up here. It's really pretty. Kind of a nice shimmery brownish taupe. And then they give you this, it's kind of, I don't know if you can tell, but it's sort of strapped on there. <laughs> this little uh, liner, little coal liner. So that's really neat to get to try that item as well. And then the thing that really just stole the show for me was this concealer palette. It's called the Nobody's Perfect Concealer Palette. Um, I got it in fair. They also had medium, but the medium shades look just a little dark. And you got this little thing here, which is just a little brush which is tiny, so it might only be good to like spot conceal maybe some blemishes, but still love that, love that idea there, and then it just opens up and you've got several shades of regular kind of skin tone concealer, and then you've got like a greenish tone to conceal red, a yellowish tone that can be good um, 
around the eye area on blues and you've got like a lightish sort of pink tone concealer. So absolutely so cute. The packaging is adorable. If you don't even buy anything, just go see if your Walmart has it yet and just check out how cute the packaging is. It's adorable. But anyway, guys, um, I know that's kind of a big haul, but it didn't happen all at once. It happened over quite a while here, actually. And I just wanted to give you a heads up on what I'm trying, what I'm liking so far or not liking, and uh, what I hope you check out if you get a chance. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.